the video that you're going to watch is a virtual graduation, an initiative in embracing the new normal. Ladies and gentlemen, the virtual processional. The graduating class from Accountancy, Business, and Management, ABM 12, Fernando Sobel de Ayala. The graduating classes from General Academic Strand, GAS 12, Francisco J. Colaico. And GAS 12, Miriam Defensor Santiago. The graduating classes from Humanities and Social Sciences, Humes 12, Walden F. Bellio. And Humes 12, Leia I. Salonga. The graduating class from Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, STEM 12, Agapito G. Flores. And the faculty and staff of Nemesho Ayabut Senior High School. Graduation is a time of recognizing the student's success in triumphing the everyday obstacles of studying. Parents, students, teachers, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third graduation rites of Nemesho Ayabut Senior High School for the school year 2019 to 2020 with the theme, Sulong Edukalidad, Championing the Nation's Future. Please observe patriotism as we sing the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by an invocation of Mrs. Liana S. Antonio. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. Ang mga 
good and loving God, we thank you for the completion of another academic year and for giving us the opportunity, short though it may have been, to play a part in the lives of our students and our new graduates. We are grateful for your guidance and love as we shared in this important work. Please bless and guide our graduates as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here with us allow them to be truly be women and men for others. May what we have learned from them enable us to be the same. Please help them to use all that they have learned here to make the world a better place, to serve others in true solidarity and kinship, to seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering, and to always seek the greater good. We know that some of them will experience pain and hardship, and we know that some of them already have and we ask you to grant them solace and strength. Finally, Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to build our community with these young men and women while they are here. Though they are leaving our campus, we know that they will always be with us, part of the Nemesho Ayabot Senior High School family. And we ask that the bonds that have been created here remain strong despite any distance. We ask all of this in your name and in the name of your Son. Amen. At this juncture, let us all listen to the congratulatory message of our dear principal, Mrs. Maria Julieta Cecilia G. San Jose. Graduates, do you still remember the day you enrolled at the Demetri Iyabut Senior High School? Your choice is what we honored, what you wanted to become. Your ambitions were and are still valuable to us. Now you're holding your diplomas. The proof of your competencies developed by the Nemesho Iyabut Senior High School. Few more months, few more years, you will notice that the discipline passed on to you by your alma mater, especially if you put it in your hearts, will lead you to the best versions of yourselves. Our graduation theme, Sulong Edukalidad, Pagtataguyod sa Kinabukasan ng Bayan, Sulong Edukalidad, Championing the Nation's Future. Ladies and gentlemen, take care of your diplomas. They are your gateway to your opportunities. Bill Gates, the owner of Microsoft, once said, Don't compare yourself with anyone in this world. If you do so, you are insulting yourself. What does it mean? It means that you, Nemesho Iyabut Senior High School graduates, are free to choose among these three roads. Whether you choose trabajo, colegio, O negosyo, the very main reason senior high school was designed by the Department of Education. Whichever you choose graduates, find all means to be happy with it. Take pride in the values inculcated to you by your teachers. You can surpass all the challenges in any trying situations. Why? Because the Nemesho Iyabut Senior High School believes you are the champions. To our dedicated teachers, Congratulations for striving for excellence in teaching. To our beloved parents, celebrate with your family and at the same time continue to support your children. They will be responsible for their own decisions. To our champions, our graduates, stand by with the N-I-Y-S-H-S has accomplished. Nurturing and intensifying the youth towards stability, honor, and self-direction. Keep in your heart what you often hear from me. Life is beautiful, happiness is a choice, and always have the gratitude attitude. To our dear champions, our graduates, congratulations, spread your wings, mabuhay, and mahal namin kayong lahat. Thank you, ma'am. Let us now listen to an inspirational message of our mayor, Honorable Marlon Abigail Binay Campus. 
Mga minamahal kong proud Makati Zen graduates ng elementary at senior high school, maligayang bati sa inyong pagtatapos. Kayo ay kabilang sa natatanging pangkat ng mga mag-aaral na nahaharap sa malaking pagbabago, hindi lamang sa araw-araw na pamumuhay, kung hindi maging sa pagpapatuloy ng inyong edukasyon. Dahil sa pandemyang sanhi ng COVID-19, ay biglang nag-iba ang takbo ng buhay nating lahat. Ang mga nakasanayan nating gawain ay hindi na maaari. Pati na ang regular na pagpasok sa paaralan at pag-aaral ng leksyon sa loob ng isang physical classroom. Kasama rin kayo sa mga hindi pa pinapayagang lumabas ng bahay para na rin sa inyong kaligtasan. Sa harap ng mga pagbabagong ito, malamang ay marami sa inyo ang nahihirapang mag-adjust. Siguro nung una ay ikinatuwa ninyong walang pasok. Pero habang tumatagal, ay nagsawa na rin kayo na nakakulong sa loob ng bahay. Yung iba dyan, nagsasawa na rin siguro sa kaka-Facebook, IG at ML, hindi ba? Naiintindihan ko kayo, ngunit hinihingi ng sitwasyon na kayo ay manatili sa inyong mga tahanan. Masyado pang mapanganib na kayo ay ma-expose dahil sa ngayon ay wala pang natutuklas ang gamot sa COVID-19 at wala pa rin bakuna laban dito. Samantala, tulong-tulong ang inyong pamahalang lungsod, ang mga opisyal ng Department of Education at ng inyong mga paaralan. Kasama ang mga guro at ang pribadong sektor sa pagpaplano ng mga hakbang at programa upang maipagpatuloy pa rin ang paghahatid sa inyo ng mataas na kalidad ng edukasyon. Sa pagkakataong ito, nais kong manawagan sa inyong mga magulang na kanilang suportahan ang ating mga pagsisikap. Alalahanin sana ninyong mga magulang na walang madaling solusyon para sa krisis na ito na bago pa lang sa ating lahat. Ngayon lamang tayo nakaranas ng ganitong katinding pandemya sa ating bansa kung kaya't kailangan ng kooperasyon at pagtutulong-tulungan nating lahat. Alam kong nagkakaisa tayo sa hangaring lumaki ang ating mga anak na may sapat na kaalaman at karunungan para mapaunlad ang kanilang mga sarili. Isang malaking hamon para sa ating lahat na makapagsagawa ng mga hakbangi na patuloy na magbibigay ng maayos na edukasyon ng mga batang makatizen. May COVID-19 man o wala, prioridad natin na mabigyan sila ng dunong at abilidad para sa kanilang magandang kinabukasan. Huwag kayong mag-alala dahil dito sa Makati ay handa tayo. Nakalatag ng mga infrastruktura at programang magpapadali sa digital transformation ng sistema ng edukasyon. Mayroon na tayong fiber optic loop na nakapaikot sa 25 barangays upang makapaghatid ng libreng internet connection. At patuloy ang pakikipag-ugnayan ng lungsod sa telecom industry upang palakasin pa ang wifi signal sa buong lungsod. Ang mga ito ay bahagi ng aming paghahanda para sa mga makabagong programa sa edukasyon na nakatuon sa paglilinang ng kakayahan ng mga batang Makati Zen na sumabay sa digital age. Sa mga minamahal kong proud Makati Zen graduates, gamitin ninyo ang libreng panahon ninyo para matuto ng mga bagong gawain at kaalaman. Learn new things, expand your skill set, and increase your knowledge. Embrace this new normal as your new opportunity to better yourselves. Ngayon ang pagkakataon ninyong higit na matuto at maging kapaki-pakinabang. Makakaasa kayo na ngayon higit pa man ay nandito ang inyong pamahalang lungsod upang gumabay, sumuporta at magbigay ng edukalidad na tulong dahil mahalaga sa amin ang inyong pag-asenso bilang mga proud, productive at progressive Makati Zens. Mula sa akin kay Vice Mayor Monique Lagdameo at sa bumubuo ng pamahalang lungsod ng Makati, congratulations, Batch 2020! Thank you, Mayor Binay! At this point, let us now listen to the Secretary's message by Secretary Leonor Magdolis Briones of the Department of Education. Sa ngalan ng Department of Education, ang ating mga opisyales, members ng Executive Committee, members ng uh, ANCOM, ang Management Committee, saan naroroon ang mga regional directors at mga superintendents, uh, mga supervisors, ating mga central office directors, at uh, pinaka-importante, mga principals sa mga teachers. Kami lahat ay tuwang-tuwa na natapos na rin ninyo ang mga uh, pangangailangan para magiging considered na kayo na graduates of class 2020. Uh, 
kayo ay isa-isa kong kinokongratulate. Uh, sayang hindi ko naman kayo pwedeng maka-shake hands o pwedeng mangitian ng personal. Pero uh, yung ating uh, magandang uh, asal, yung ating magandang uh, pagtingin sa isa't isa sa inyo, nandoon pa rin. At saka tuwan-tuwa kami talaga, lalo na ako. Para sa akin, ang graduation ay isa sa pinaka masigla, pinaka masaya na okasyon sa buhay ng isang uh, learner o isang um, estudyante. Pero pinaka masaya din yan para sa teacher. Pinaka masaya yan sa lahat ng administrators dahil mayroon na namang graduating class na nakakatapos. Uh, kayo ay very special. Special kayo sa parents ninyo, special kayo sa mga friends, sa mga teachers ninyo, sa community. Special na special kayo, each and every one of you. But you are also special in a different way because you are graduating at the time of COVID-19. Siguro pag magiging ganap na kayong uh, uh, citizen ng Pilipinas o lumaki na kayo, uh, tumanda na kayo, sasabihin ninyo, ako ay nag-graduate sa panahon ng coronavirus. Ang pag-graduate ninyo ngayon ay ibang-iba sa pag-graduate ng mga nakauna sa inyo or maybe sa susunod sa inyo. Dahil ito ngayon ay panahon ng coronavirus, so mga adjustments ang ginagawa natin. Hindi pwede tayong magtipon-tipon, hindi pwedeng magkita-kita kayo ng mga parents ng classmates sa ninyo, mga barkada, mga yaya, lolo, lola, at mga parents and teachers. Hindi pwedeng mag-ipon-ipon kayo sa isang lugar at this time. Pero marami namang ibang paraan na kayo ay babatiin at para ma-celebrate ninyo itong special na occasion na ito. Uh, ang iba sa inyo ay magkaroon ng virtual graduation tulad ng sa Davao. Uh, congratulations sa inyo. Ang iba naman siguro maghintay kung mayroon ng uh, mas um, friendlier uh, environment, mas friendlier circumstances. At saka, hindi lang ito nangyari sa panahong ito dahil sa COVID. May mga uh, karanasan din ang DepEd. May karanasan din ang ating mga universidad kung saan napupostpone, napagpaliban ang graduation. Uh, sa panahon ng mga lola at lolo ninyo, napagpaliban ang graduation dahil yung panahon nyo ng gera. At saka mayroon talagang tunay na kalaban na nagdi-disrupt ng ating mga activities. So at that time, yung mga estudyante, hindi sila nakagraduate. Mayroon namang uh, instance na mayroong malaking mga disasters, kaya napupospong din ang graduation. Kagaya nung nangyari minsan sa UP, dahil napakatindi yung bagyo na tumama sa sa Manila, sa Central uh, Luzon at sa ibang bahagi ng uh, Luzon at ang UP hindi nakapagpatuloy sa kanyang graduation. So, ang nangyari, the next na lang ng registrar ang mga estudyante na ikaw ay graduado na. Dadating din ang panahon siguro kung kagustuhan ng inyong mga parents o kagustuhan ng inyong mga teachers or administrators na magkaroon din kayo ng graduation tulad ng dati. Pero ang importante ay kayo ay graduado na. Kayo ay pumasa. Kayo ay dumanas sa mahirap na pamamaraan, mga examen, mga ratings, na grado na binigay ng mga teachers ninyo para kayo makonsider talaga na graduate. Ano kaya ang payo na maibigay ko sa inyo sa panahong ito 
ng COVID-19. Kasi kaiba nga ang sitwasyon ninyo ngayon. Para sa mga elementary school students na mag-move up to, to junior high school, eh, ibang-iba na ang mapuntahan ninyo sa high school. Hindi na yung araw-araw gigisingin kayo, magdala kayo ng baon, uh, at saka makikita ninyo teachers ninyo, at saka yung mga libro, mahawakan ninyo, mahihipo ninyo. Uh, iba na ang uh, pamamaraan dahil uh, ang gagamitin ICT, gagamitin yung mga learning platforms kagaya ng DepEd Commons, ang gagamitin ay ang mga computer, ang tablet, television, at sa radio para matuto kayo. Depende kung anong sitwasyon sa inyong lugar. Para naman sa junior high school na pupunta sa senior high school, baka matuwa kayo kasi nung na-introduce ang senior high school, maraming mga komentaryo, feedback galing sa parents ninyo, galing sa mga eksperto, na sobrang dami yung subjects. Ngayon, na-reduce na natin yung subjects, lalo na sa senior high school, at saka sa iba't ibang baitang. No? So sa junior high school, kayo nag-step nag, nag, uh, up na. Uh, ang magiging subjects ninyo sa senior high school, uh, sobrang kunti kaysa dati. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na kunti lang ang malalaman ninyo. Kasi karamihan malalaman din ninyo, marami kayong matutunan sa bahay ninyo, sa pag-aaral ninyo sa learning platforms, at saka sa tulong ng inyong mga magulang, sa inyong lolo at lola, inyong mga mentors sa bahay at saka sa inyong mga, yung sinasabi kong mga tahanan ninyo. So, lesser ang learning competencies para sa senior high school at saka sa ibang grado, pero siguro mas malalim ang matutunan ninyo. Kasi ang pangangailangan ngayon, ma-elementary ka, ma-junior high school ka, o magiging uh, senior high school ka, napapasok na sa universidad, ang pinaka-importante ay yung sinasabi sa batas na critical thinking. Kung may mga problema, kung may mga challenges, kailangan matuto tayo na ito ay ma-analyze, mapag-isipan ng rational, yung sinasabi ito natin ginagamit ang logic, ginagamit ang analysis, ang kailangan yung collaboration, makipagtulungan ka sa mga classmates mo, sa parents mo, kailangan ng communication, hindi pwede na uh, ikaw lang mag-isa mag-aaral, magko-communicate ka palagi, but siguro yung sinasabi natin na virtual. Pero ang importante para sa akin, wala yan sa batas, wala yan sa mga libro siguro. Ang importante para sa inyo, sa junior high na magiging senior, sa senior na magiging university, o pupunta sa mga vocational training na nagugustuhan ninyo, eh, ang magiging courageous, magiging brave. Uh, huwag kayong matakot dahil ang mundo na pinupuntahan ninyo ay ibang-iba sa nasanayan ninyo. Hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng inyong mga school, hindi kayo pababayaan mga teachers, hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng ating government na nagbibigay sa atin ng mga paaralan galing sa buwis ng ating mga magulang, at hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng mga magulang ninyo. Hindi kayo nag-iisa. Kaya huwag kayong matakot dahil maraming mga bagong uh, bagay na ituturo sa inyo. Maraming bagong tinatawag nila na challenges na haharapin ninyo. Pero hindi nakakatakot. Dapat ma-excited kayo. Dahil iba na ang inyong pag-aralan. Iba ng pamamaraan sa pag-aaral. At saka siguro maging mas mabuti kayong citizen kaysa aming mga lola, lolo at mami, daddy ninyo ngayon. So once again, congratulations para sa mag-aakyat mag from elementary hanggang magpunta na sila sa junior high school. 
yung galing sa junior high school na magpupunta sa senior high school at ang senior high school na pupunta na sa vocational, mag-specialized uh, training o magtrabaho o pupunta sa universidad. Congratulations to each and every one of you. It's a new world that you are facing. Siguro, some of you, hindi ako sigurado sa mga elementary uh, students, pero sa mga junior high at saka element, uh, sa senior high, alam niyo yung pelikula ni Alayden. Si Alayden, mayroong magic rug, di ba? Sumasakay sila, nagbilipad sila kasama si Princess Yasmin. At saka ang kinakanta nila, a whole new world. You are now leaving your school, You're entering a whole new world, but do not be afraid because you will not be alone. Your teachers will always be with you. Your government will always see to it that you will be educated. Your family will be with you. And most important, God will be with you. So God be with you. Do not be afraid. These are wonderful times. Congratulations sa isa't isa sa inyong lahat. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Briones. At this juncture, let us all listen to the message of our OIC Schools Division Superintendent, Ms. Carlene S. Cedilia, CESE. My warmest and sincerest congratulations to all the graduates of elementary and senior high school for school year 2019-2020 of Deaf Education. This year is indeed a memorable graduation to all of you because you will be graduating in the midst of a global pandemic that has completely changed our lives and the landscape of education. But I know and I am confident that your school has equipped you with the necessary knowledge, skill, and attitude that will allow you to succeed and to face the challenges that will come along your way. This year's theme, Sulong in Localidad, Championing the Nation's Future, reiterates the important role of quality education in adapting and facing the challenges in our lives. Alam po namin na ang edukasyon pa rin ang pinakasusi para kayo ay magtagumpay sa anuman landa sa inyong tatakakin sa kinabukasan. Allow me also this opportunity to thank our school heads, our teachers, and our parents for a successful school year and for being the wing beneath your wings. We know that without you, this day would have not been possible. On behalf of the whole Dev in Mahati, again, congratulations and God bless all of you. Thank you, ma'am. At this point, let us now proceed with the presentation of the candidates for graduation by Mrs. Maria Julieta Cecilia G. San Jose, Principal 1 of Nemesho Ayabot Senior High School, and to be followed by the confirmation of the graduates by Ms. Carlene S. Cedilia, CESE, OIC Schools Division Superintendent, DepEd Makati. To our beloved officer in charge, the Schools Division Superintendent of Makati, Madam Carlene S. Cedilia, in compliance with the academic requirements set forth by the Senior High School Program under the K-12 curriculum, the basic education of the Republic of the Philippines under Republic Act 10533, I humbly present to you 103 ladies and 86 gentlemen for a total of 189 Nemesho Iyabud Senior High School candidates for graduation. They have satisfactorily completed the competencies for Humes, GAS, ABM, and STEM strand. Madam Carlene Sadilla, for your confirmment, please. Sa visa ng kapangyarihan ay ginawad sa akin na kagawala ng edukasyon sa pangunita ng ating Secretary, Leonor Magcolis Leones, at sa pagpapatunay ng inyong punong guro na lahat kayo ay kasiyasiyang nakatapos ng K-12 curriculum sa taong pangpanuroan 2019-2020, aking pinagkitibay ang inyong pagtatapos. Sa ngala ng buong Depen Makati, pinabati namin kayong lahat. 
At this juncture, let us now proceed with the virtual distribution of the diploma. The first presenter is Dr. Leonardo G. Adap, the advisor of ABM-12, Fernando Sobel de Ayala. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of Accountancy, Business and Management 2019-2020. Arenas Christian J. D. Balangkit Ramses Miguel L. Balidoy Vincent B. Belarmino Joshua G. Kayabyab Alton John E. De Castro Allen Julius A. with honors. De Vera John Paul. Domingo Emilio C. with honors. Fariñas Joshua James. Garcia John Allen R. Manzano Raven Ridge E. Marigon Luigi P. E. Maluto Isaiah P. E. Andau Alraji A. With highest honors. Reyes Job S. Salaza Juan Christopher C. Saura Daniel Vincent M. Tamares Vincent Ian A. Tavera Johnny Jr. D. Unko Jovi Ryan. Apuya Ashley Reva B. Bakira Nikki L. Berbon Janet V. Bobos Princess D. Bonifacio Janica G. Profar Asley Jane G. Cabajo Jesse Lee. Julio Angela Michelle with honors. Del Mundo Roseanne M. De Manuel Sandra Nicole O with high honors. Andreu Jodilin A. Ebina Abigail O. With honors. Egay Ernshikima R. Gajane Jusil E. With honors. Iliga Melody S. Enot Ranika Me M with honors. Jalimao Andrea Hanamichi B. Yamado Joymi R with honors. Magalso Mary Jane B. Nivera Jenica with honors. Oko Nicole B. Ramos Hannah Margaret M. Sales Maria Charlene P. Sapitanan Juliana Ray P. Servando Joanna Claire M. 
Victoria Gensams T with honors and Vidal Jewel Russia with honors. The next presenter is Ms. Alistair V. Quinto, advisor of General Academic Strand, Francisco J. Colaico. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of General Academic Strand, Francisco J. Colaico, school year 2019-2020. Acuna Philip John B. Aguirre Brexter John G. Bayotlang Kirsten. De Guzman John Adrian V. Inokya Jasper K. Limpot Sherwin S. Lumelay Kenan G. Morales Kiran John R. with honors. Dr. Kirino Kenneth D. Posadas J.P. A. Ramos Carl Joffrey. Ramos John Paolo C. Adorna Bless Theni Shek. Aguacito Kayla Shime B. Aguirre Christine Angel. Arce Margie Liudiwa A. Famero Wayne Angelic. Garon Arlina S. Gaspar Angelica B. Hernandez Ana Maria R. Holgado Rona Pearl C. Manadit Risa May F. Miliente Aileen M. Nanyola Corinne Rose E. Natividad Pichi M. Tolentino Ella Jean M. And Tomas Angelica. The next presenter is Mr. Rolando M. Pasqua, advisor of GAS 12 Santiago. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of General Academic Strand, Miriam Defensor Santiago, school year 2019-2020, Barrientos John C. Astilio Jimar C. Sir Pierre Florence E. Inayon Roger V. R. Fernandez Jan Jumiel B. Planuevo R. G. D. Mori Jan Alex G. Nahial Marklip C. Ortiz Erman M. Pantit Ren Adrian D. Ramos Robin B. Sevilla Angelo C. Tamayo Jan Wendell S. Valies Jerry S. 
Alejandrino Saira A. Amano Micaela Antonet M. Achensa Renalin P. Alessa Cheryl May. La Cruz Tricia M. U. Domingo Tricia R. Rosales Ma Angelica E. Leonoras Manuela. Managit Antonet F. Martizo Amy B. Navelgas Cherilyn G. Ugaire Rhea L. Paraga Leia V. Pasamba Rizame D. Sala Michelle L. Santiago Sanya Maridel S. Tambanilio Dines Nicole. The next presenter is Mr. Dennis J. Pasquale, the advisor of humanities and social sciences, Walden F. Bellio. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of humanities and social sciences, Walden F. Bellio, the school year 2019-2020. Albay John Ray D. Arias Jefferson B. Balase Marvin A. Bonifacio Junior G. Capus Alain Kukoy S. Casiple Roniel L. Cruz Francis Darling R. Albedes Miguel S. With honors. Manalo John Leonard Mariano Raymond Martinez John Mark B Mora Mark Jex C Narce Robbie John A Pedroso, Angelo, Joshua, G. Rica Frente, Carlo, B. Salas, Franz, Daniel, C. Santiliana, Junior, Joselito, B. Victoria, James, Earl, A. Yamon Yancy R. Alferes Regine with honors. Asuncion Julian Hazel W. Bargo Jovet D. Catorce Maila with honors. Cornejo Katrina Nicole P. with honors. The Jos GMA L. Domalanta Catherine M. with honors. Mabano Judian with honors. Nashon Shinami D. Homelang Patricia Rosen with honors. 
Desmundo Justin Sheen B. With Honors Tante Colleen H. With Honors And Torres Janel D. With Honors The next presenter is Mr. Glenn Dion, the advisor of Humanities and Social Sciences, Leia Salonga. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of Humanities and Social Sciences, Leia Salonga, 2019-2020. Bulacan Renzo. Duenas Ronel M. Mojica Jan Francis R. Ocasla Daniel Francis Luis E. Pilapil Marvin G. With Honors. Pusong Chris Jericho B. San Jose Jude Polo G. With Honors. Santiago Joshua. Viernes Lawrence Ice T. Villena Kevin Kingsley M. Matersal Cheryl Grace A. With Honors. Cabal Pinto, Chelsea Queen O, with honors. Kalugay, Cherry Lane Z, with honors. Capco, Adia Fiona Lay R, with honors. Corpin, Daniela V. Kunanan, Kate Regine B, with honors. Danan Stephanie M. With Honors De La Cruz Micaela H. With Honors De Los Santos Ira Jean Q. Libao Sofia Nicole L. With High Honors Makabinta Nor Asha K. With Honors Magtibay Noemi P. With Honors Martos Christine Dandy S. With High Honors Milas Jasmine Marie T. E. Mortel Eliza Marie J. Napilitan Danica Taguban Diane J. With Honors Tapiador Nicole G. Torres Chelsea B. With High Honors And Torrestre Rica May B. The next presenter is Mr. John B. Sarmiento, Advisor of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, Section Agapito Flores. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, STEM Agapito Flores, School Year 2019-2020. Cabela Adonis M. With High Honors. Tevilia Tom Smith D. With Honors Pabellon Ryder F. With Honors Pagliore Clarence M. With Honors Lanaban Joven Jean Cell With Honors Rosada Jan F. With High Honors Pertudo Vini B. With Honors Principe James Harry T. With Honors Razzo Jo Marijes L. With Honors 
Rector Raymar H. with honors, Salvador Romel D. with honors, Almerol Risha M. S. with honors, Arceo Alexandra May O. with honors, Batillier Kathleen C. with honors, Aponte Marika with honors, Makabintang Marjana K. with honors, Marate Jaden G. with honors, Suyat Claire and F. with honors, Taraya Helena M. with honors, Tiamson Darling Joy P. with honors, Tiamson Darling Joy P. with honors, Tulot Giselle C. with honors. Congratulations! Congratulations, graduates! At this point, let us now listen to the graduation speech of Mr. Alraji Pandao with highest honors from ABM-12, Fernando Sobel de Ayala. I would like to acknowledge all of the deputy officials, our beloved mayor of the city, Attorney Marlene Abigail Sombilio Binay, the humble officer in charge, school division superintendent, Madam Carlin S. Sibilia, Chief of the Curriculum and Implementation Division, Ma'am Angelita S. Jalimo. Chief of the Schools Governance Division, Dr. Rosalie A. Tronco. Education Supervisors, our school principal, Ms. Maria Julieta Cecilia G. San Jose. The dedicated Nemesio Ayabo Senior High School teachers, the non staff, the GPTA, our dear parents, guardians, friends, and most especially, the graduating batch of 2020, a great day to all of you. First of all, I would like to congratulate all my fellow graduates and our parents because we're all champions in this graduation rights with the theme, Sulong Edo Kalidad, Championing the Nation's Future. Our beloved parents are also significant champions because they are the ones who supported us on this wonderful achievement and raised us as a better youth in this generation. It had been two memorable years and now we're already in the end of our race in high school. Ready to open a new door that will lead to a more complicated yet satisfying challenges in life. Before, the first question that graduates like us will have in mind after graduation would be, what's next or what new experiences or challenges will I experience in college? Simple pre-college dilemmas. But how about today? Will the next path after this be as simple as before? We all know that we are currently facing all the uncertainties of the situation that we have today. The situation may be surreal in our minds five months ago. But the challenge of this pandemic is real. And it's a must for us to be strong and continue to move forward as we face the new life with a silver lining. For hope it is that will keep us moving. Fellow graduates, fear not of the uncertainties that are present and yet to be unfolded. For the day marks an event that aims to remind us that we are all victors, equipped by the strength, hope, and wisdom that our alma mater, the Nemesio Ayabu Senior High School, bestowed upon us. Allow me to share with you my journey that I hope will encourage everyone to continue moving forward. My life was not as smooth as the experiences of other students. Mine was like in a bed of roses and thorns, but not descriptively horrendous, for I made sure that all along I have optimism with me. Just like most of you, I was able to experience a lot of mistakes, downfalls, heartaches, and failures. In fact, two years ago, after completing junior high school, I experienced a big chunk of trial in our family which pushed me to learn to balance work and study. At the time when our family business experienced problems, I became a student in the morning and a service crew in the evening. Then when I got home late at night, I have to play along with the playful speed of time to do homeworks and projects that needed to be submitted. Yet, this situation didn't stop me from becoming a good student. My determination, perseverance, and hard work paid off. 
I was able to reap and I harvest the fruits of all sweats, tears, and blood that I poured in every challenge that I was made to face during my stay in Nish. I became more determined to learn and achieve my goals, and now everything paid off. Today, I am also delighted to share with you my never-ending gratitude for all those people who contributed not only to my success, but also to the success of all the graduates of Nemesho Ayabu Senior High School, Batch 2019-2020. Success is a two-way process. I firmly believe in that. I am sure that my success wouldn't be real today without those who helped me and contributed different facets that I may say made my senior high school student life meaningful and successful. I'm grateful to all my friends and classmates who from thick and thin were there. I will not forget the memories we shared together, whether if that memory was those times that we were imagining what foods were prepared in the canteen, or the memory of being late and failing to attend our favorite first period class because we were held in the, in the lobby to give explanation of our tardiness. Whatever experiences were th those were, the most important is we learned from it. I'd like to thank God for always being there by my side throughout my hurdles in life. To my parents and my fellow graduates' parents who are always there no matter what. To all my fellow champions, please hold your parents' hands and say, Thank you for your love and guidance. Thank you for being patient to us no matter how unpredictable and different we are. My senior high school teachers, thank you for being experts in your field. Your undying passion in teaching motivated me to learn. I am also grateful to my two amazing SHS advisors who contributed a lot to what I am today. To Mrs. Teresa Baltasar, my grade 11 advisor, and my mother in niche, thank you for your motherly care and life lessons that I emulated. To Dr. Nardo G. Adap, my grade 12 advisor, he is known to be strict, but with that strictness, I can say that I learned and changed a lot. Thank you for teaching me values and showing me the side of the world that I had never seen before. I will always bear in mind your words that learning has no limits. Even you breach your retirement, you are always bound to brand new experiences and learn new things which make life worth living. Those words made me fall in love again and again in learning. Thank you, sir. Our dear principal, Mrs. Maria Julieta Cecilia G. San Jose, thank you, ma'am, for supporting us. I will never forget what you taught us, that is to always to choose happiness, because happiness is a choice. To all G.U. Makati for giving us educational assistance that helped us a lot, like the Project Free and many other special privileges you gave us. Thank you very much. Lastly, this may be the call for our last moment as being a senior high school student. But I believe our journey is just starting to heat up. Bear in mind that life is beautiful and its beauty is was made for all of us. Even we don't have superpowers. Don't stress yourselves for neither I don't have one. But for me, never giving up is our greatest power that we should possess in order for us to hurdle whatever life may bring. Today is the evidence that we can achieve something in life if we will put in our hearts in everything that we do. Never stop believing that dreams are limitless. It should always be our life pursuit to aim not only for greatness, but also for kindness and wisdom. I am Alraji Pandao from the Accountancy, Business and Management Strand. I will forever be grateful to the opportunity of becoming part of the Mesho Ayabut Senior High School. Once again, my fellow graduates from STEM, ABM, Humes, and Gas Strand, we are the champions of Nemesho Ayabut Senior High School, school year 2019-2020. Congratulations to all of us and have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Pandao. Now, let us proceed to the Pledge of Loyalty to be led by Miss Chelsea B. Torres with high honors from Yums 12, Leia Salonga. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name do hereby solemnly pledge my loyalty to Nemesho Ayabut Senior High School, my support to its programs of fostering a vital relationship between the alumni and the public, my support to the Constitution and bylaws, my willingness to generate and harness all resources with which the school can pursue the program of quality education, 
my conviction to promote the spirit of inquiry and intellectual discipline, of moral and spiritual search, and of service to humanity. So help me God. Ladies and gentlemen, as we close this graduation rites, may I request all the graduates to sing the graduation song entitled, A Million Dreams. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me, that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy We can live in a world that we design Cause every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me awake I think of why vision of the one I see A million dreams is all it's gonna take Oh, a million dreams for the world we're gonna make There's a house we can build Every room inside is filled with things from far away The special things I compile Each one there to make you smile On a rainy day They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy They can say, they can say we've lost our mind I don't care, I don't care if they call us crazy Run away to a world that we design Every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me awake I think of what Small
Ladies and gentlemen, the recessional. Thank you. 